Many cellular activities in the body require water or nutrients and produce wastes. The vacuole is an organelle that stores water, nutrients, and waste for the cell. A smaller version of the vacuole is the vesicle. So the function for both of these organelles is the same. If a vacuole is carrying nutrients, it may fuse with an organelle called a lysosome, so the contents of the vacuole can be digested. Lysosomes are specialized organelles that contain hydrolytic enzymes that digest various types of molecules in the cell. Think of the lysosome like the stomach of the cell. Another cue here is that the term lysis means to break apart. In a diagram, vacuoles are represented as little circles with nothing in them. Lysosomes are also represented by little circles. However, they will have little black dots in them to represent the hydrolytic enzymes. The cell membrane is the last organelle that you will need to know for this course. It acts like your skin. In other words, the cell membrane is the barrier between the internal and external environment of the cell. So it controls the movement of materials into and out of the cell, thereby protecting it. An understanding of this organelle is so important that the next unit will go into much more detail about the structure and function of the cell membrane.